Hi, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop. Today I'm going to recreate this Van Halen 2 album cover out of wood for the 2017 Maker's Rock album art collaboration. Maker's Rock is a fun collaboration with a bunch of different makers who get together and decide on a theme and then recreate some artwork out of a variety of materials. This is the second time we've done it and this time the theme is 60s and 70s album artwork. So I picked an album from one of my favorite bands, Van Halen. I picked Van Halen 2. So let's take a quick look at this album cover, at the details, and see what it's going to take to recreate it out of wood. At first glance, this album cover looks pretty easy to reproduce, but I do think it's going to have some challenges. The background is just a basic navy blue, but it does have some real fine lettering across the top that says Van Halen 2. Uh, so that might be hard to recreate. Uh, the logo itself, instead of just cutting it straight out of wood, uh, it's got this uh, 3D isometric look to it. So what I'm going to attempt to do is not only cut this out of wood, but also try to recreate this bevel that goes off to the right side here, creating a 3D effect. And the third challenge, I think, is going to be getting the colors right. I'm going to use some red cedar so I can take advantage of the pink and red colors of the wood but somehow I need to fade it into more of a white chrome color. To get started, I'm going to measure the album cover and it looks like it's about 12 and 3 eighths inches square. So I'm going to cut a backboard out of this quarter inch plywood and then I'm going to paint it with this midnight blue color. Well, this midnight blue color turned out to be a pretty good match for this album cover. So the next thing I'm going to work on is the lettering across the top. And I printed out Van Halen 2 three times on this legal size sheet of paper. So I'm going to use an X-Acto knife and try to cut out these fine letters and make a stencil. All right, I've got the light blue letters painted across the top and the stencil worked out great. I had a little bit of overspray, but after a little touch up, it looks pretty good. So now it's time to tackle the logo. I'm going to cut the logo out of this red cedar board that's a half inch thick. It does have some knots in it, but I think I can get the logo out of this section here. I really like these cool stripes here and notice the logo has some stripes in it. So I'm going to angle it like this so I can take advantage of those stripes in the red cedar. Okay, after pondering this a while, I think I figured out how I'm going to cut this 3D isometric looking bevel that kind of goes that way on the logo. And it involves some scroll saw setup that I'm not that familiar with, so we'll see how this turns out. I did a test piece, so let's zoom in and I'll show you what I've got set up over here. Here's my test piece, and you can see it's cut at an angle on all sides to get that 3D look. To achieve that, I just tilted my scroll saw table to 20 degrees. Now, to make sure that angle goes in the right direction all over the logo, I need to be careful not to spin the workpiece while I'm cutting it out, which could throw off the angle. So the only way on a scroll saw to cut something without spinning the workpiece around is to use the dreaded spiral blade.
Well, that was my first time using a spiral blade, and boy, was that tedious. <laughs> it's hard to cut a straight line with a spiral blade, and of course this logo is all straight lines. Uh, some of my cuts were a little wavy, but I was able to straighten them out some with some sandpaper. I did have a piece at the bottom of the H that broke off, so I had to glue that back on with CA glue, and hopefully it won't be that noticeable. So the next thing I'm going to do is just spray this with some spray lacquer and see how it looks. Well, this red cedar turned out looking really cool. I put lots of coats of gloss spray lacquer on it, and you can probably see it shimmering in the light. <laughs> That's so cool. I just don't have the heart to put any spray paint on this and cover up that nice wood grain. So I'm just going to glue it on and call this project done. Hey, check this out. Vinyl clamps. Alright, well here is the finished Van Halen 2 album artwork. And I think it turned out pretty close to the original. I really like how this red cedar looks with that gloss lacquer on it. And overall, it was a pretty easy project to make. The hardest part was trying to cut straight lines with a spiral blade. But hey, it was my first try. <laughs> I am going to give this away over on my website at thecarmichaelworkshop.com. Uh, so if you're a Van Halen fan, or even if you're not a Van Halen fan, head over to my website and enter the giveaway. And I'm going to give it away on Friday, uh, March 31st. So make sure you enter the giveaway by 11.59 p.m. Pacific on Thursday the 30th in order to be eligible for the giveaway on Friday. Uh, just check all the details over on my website. I need to mention that my giveaway is not affiliated with YouTube or Google in any way. I want to thank the other Makers Rock 2017 participants for making this such a fun challenge. Let's do it again and with more people next time. Don't forget to check out everyone else's album art videos. I'll put a link to a playlist down below, so check those out. Also, don't forget to enter their giveaways to win some of this cool album art. If you're new to my channel or new to any of the other folks' channels, uh, make sure you subscribe, leave us a comment, and let us know what you think about our projects. And don't forget to click that like button and share our videos with your friends. That really helps out a lot. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.